something great happened that day. Do fans still come up to you and talk to you about it? All the time. It was amazing. Did it really happen? Devery scored what? It happened. Some kind of way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. It was a day a heavily favored LSU team saw a 21 to 7 lead disappear. Yeah, me and Jack, we kind of look back on it like we are the reason Bluegrass Miracle happened. Because <laughs> you guys blew the lead. Yeah, we did. Me and Randall are chasing the guy into the end zone. The second half avalanche was just about complete and LSU buried. Yeah, one of their players called a timeout. Brent Peace is not happy with Jared Lorenzen about something. We were not going to call a timeout. Evidently, everybody didn't get the message. And then also, I was noticing that Saban tried to call a timeout to ice the kicker. He didn't get it. However, what could it really matter with 11 seconds left and LSU down three? All their fans are coming behind us. LSU! Yeah, yeah. Greg Stringfield, he's telling all of us to put your helmets on, put your helmets on. Shut up, we know we lost. We don't need you to remind us. Yeah, there's no way we can win this. And this is a monumental win for this program. The kick return team goes out on the field. He'll go to Henderson. He will run out of bounds in a hurry. I thought the best chance we'd have if I just ran out of bounds and give our offense a chance to, you know, complete a pass or two. And then we get some penalty. Delay of game on the offense. And I think we end up starting off inside the 10. But the mentality had been play hard for 60 minutes playing for 60 minutes. A whole 60 minutes. We called a all goal Z dagger. Instead of going 20, I go 17 yards because I feel a little rushed that we're going to run out of time. Jump up and call timeout. Two seconds left and we had 80 yards to go. Guy Morris just got some Gatorade dumped on him. I think he'd feel a whole lot better had the clock ran out. Yeah. I love it. He got wet for nothing. Well, we only had one play. I could hear Jimbo Fisher calling down to save me. Dash right. Uh, 93 Berlin. 93 Berlin. 93 Berlin. I can remember the look on everybody's face. Thinking, well, all right, ball game. Because you see it all the time. We're practicing. Third Never days. worked. <laughs> it always gets intercepted or knocked down. The ball snap rolled out. Before I even released the ball, the day I started shooting fireworks. <laughs> I knew he could throw the ball, but he threw it. As I'm going up, the great people of Louisiana would say that I tipped that ball. And you know, it just sounds great that I tipped it. And you know, if you ask me, yeah, I tipped it. But the truth of the matter is, I didn't tip it. Everything was kind of cluttered from where I was. I knew for a fact I was out of position. The majority of us were out of position. I knew he didn't catch that ball. He must have caught it. He must have caught it. Oh my goodness! You know, all of a sudden, I'm just at the bottom of a pile. <laughs> Dove on the pile. I get a little FaceTime, and you see Clayton getting in there like, yeah, we got it. Next thing you know, this, this thing is eight, ten feet high. Somebody's at the bottom of this thing hurting. Oh, my goodness. Devery Henderson caught it off a deflection. Oh, damn. The is wrong with you. Can you believe that? Is there any piece of you that feels bad for Kentucky? Oh, no. <laughs> Not one piece. <laughs> Not bad for them. It, it just felt good for us. They um, actually celebrated too early. I didn't feel bad for the Kentucky football team because this is football. I felt bad for the fans. I know what to say, man. It's absolutely Not horrible. It's bad. It's bad. <laughs> Running across the field. As the LSU player ran by me to score the touchdown. And to this day, they still think about how they were pulling the goalposts down for a close loss. We needed a miracle to win, and I know once I caught the ball, it was you know no stopping me from getting the end zone. And I just happened to be in the right place at the right time. LSU fans across the world will never forget that moment. Fans that meet me uh, always give me a story of where they were, when they saw it, or how they missed it when, when they thought the game was over and, and uh, turned the TV off. That game was just as much excitement as winning a national championship. It was just as much excitement as winning a Super Bowl. Billy Cannon run. These are one of the moments in LSU's history that you die for.